All right, this is the restaurant turnaround. And the only thing after this is the restaurant mogul, which you will do on your own. So for the restaurant turnaround and also for the restaurant mogul, what you're going to do is run through all the same steps that you've done in the previous lessons, but this time we're going to seamlessly run through them all at the same time instead of breaking them up. All right, so feel free to open up your old lessons and scroll through, go back and look at all the steps you took or take notes and use them for this. All right, so the first thing we want to do is some market research. So let's put out a new survey. Let's ask, where do you usually dine? Do you eat for business as a couple or a family? Which day do you normally eat out? How much do you expect to pay for a meal? What's your favorite meal and beverage? Which restaurant did you last eat? That's really all that seems to be pertinent here. So let's go ahead and send that out. That's going to cost us $3,050. And it's a one-time deal. All right, so what is our restaurant? Let's take a view. We are Al's Pub. So let's take a look and see. Can we make this bigger? I believe we can. All right, let's look and see who our targeted demographic is. I can't see where we are. So actually, let me take a view, a uh, city view real quick. Move this out of the way. Except I made it big. Let's shrink it back up. Okay. Oh, there we are. Okay, so Al's Pub is at the bottom right quadrant of the city. And we're right next to Me Cafe. Okay. Well, Okay, so Al's Pub is over here. So let's take a look here. What question do we want to ask? Where do you usually dine? Okay. So it looks like our targeted demographic is business people, but let's just double check. Okay, we got couples up there, families up there. Okay, well, at re which restaurant did you last eat? Business people last ate at, oh, they like me cafe better than Al's Pub. Is that right next to us? I can't see with this big thing in the way. Yes, okay. So we're targeting the right people. We just need to do better than me cafe. <laughs> and most people are eating nowhere, which is strange. Okay. Couples. I guess we get a little bit of couples at Al's Pub. We get one, one couple and Five business people, that's it? Wow. And then family, let's see. 24 families come here. Interesting. Which restaurant did you last eat? And where do you usually dine? Am I looking at this right? What's your favorite? Huh. So they usually dine up here, but they also come to us. So what I'm trying to figure out is who is our targeted customer? Hmm. Is it families or business people? I want to see the I want to see the rent information, but we can't because if I could see the rent information, I could take a look and see. Okay. I want to see who is around us. How's pub? Oh, <laughs> that's not what I was trying to do. Okay, so let's go back to the city. Clearly, we are in the business area. Um. Huh. Well, who's going to Me Cafe? Let's take a look at that. Families are not going to Me Cafe. Couples are not going there either. Business people are. So even though we don't have a lot of business customers right now, 
I'm going to center the restaurant on business people because clearly they're coming to the area. 43, that's way more than we're even getting for families. So let's draw them over to our restaurant instead and maybe we can put a couple items on the menu for the families as well. Okay, so there's that. We did our marketing. What is next? Let's move on to, let's see, we're going to skip location selection because we already have a location. Let's take a look at our financial statements and see how we're doing. So go to reports, income statement. Let's see what our numbers look like. Today is the 18th. So we're spending a lot on food and beverage. Oh, this is how much we're making. We're spending 3100 Okay, that's not bad. Oh, dang, we are wasting just as much as we're spending. Food waste is 22%. That's unacceptable. Okay. Uh, we are making quite a bit on food, so that's good. Gross margin. Okay, so our profit is like 8000 Um, Staffing is very high. Okay, 37%. That is way too high. Rent. Depreciation. Okay. All right, so these numbers look okay. Let's move on to menu design. Let's take a look at the menu. Okay, so first things first, pull up that survey results again. And we are going to focus on the business people. What do they like to eat? Actually, I want to see how much they want to pay too, but we'll get back to that. What is your favorite meal when you eat out? Their favorite meal is herb roasted chicken and grilled sirloin steak. Why don't we just do this? I'm going to take everything off. Make this easier. We're going to start over. Okay. Let's do grilled sirloin steak first because I know that's going to make us more money but where is it there it is grilled sirloin steak and then we want to find herb roasted chicken <laughs> okay next is going to be grilled salmon filet where are you grilled salmon filet Then we've got jambalaya and barbecue back ribs. Jambalaya, barbecue back ribs. Okay, what else? Next is going to be swordfish creole and rack of lamb. Swordfish creole. Go. Rack of lamb. Uh, crab cakes and bourbon chicken. I'm going to go ahead and go with the chicken because I know it's going to cost less to make it. I think, I think we can't put anything else on here after this. Oh, we can. Okay, so let's get our crab cakes too in. Crab cakes. Can anything else fit? Whew, dang. We can have an extensive menu. I think we only have 10 things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so then after crab cakes, what is what do they like? I believe it's either going to be beef short ribs or red snapper. Well, let's go with the beef short ribs. There you go. Uh, good, it's on the bottom. Okay, so now... Let's take a look at what their favorite drinks are. What's your favorite beverage? Okay. Let's see here. Business people like coffee the most. So let's go to beverages. We should definitely have coffee on the menu. Let's put it at the top. Orange juice and milk. Let's get rid of that soda. They're not really into it. 
All right, so next would be pricing, but I want to see if they're making any complaints about the prices. So let's run this forward. Let's look inside our uh, restaurant. And take a look and see what kind of complaints we're getting. Don't forget to speed this up. Clearly we're running out of items. Let's go look at our food storage. Interesting. The Beef doesn't really seem to be moving. What's this? Butter and oil. We're running low on that. What's this? Potatoes and fries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can add shelves. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize I could do that. That's super cool. Okay. But I don't see any reason to use that. So. Milk. Okay, everything's doing good there. Oh, we're wasting vegetables. 78 nearly expired. That looks good. Okay, so it looks like right now they're not complaining about prices. They're just complaining about us running out of things. So let's go to menu design. And if you remember, the formula for figuring out the menu is... You're going to take the food cost, so this is how much it costs for us to make it, so $4.95. Divide that by 0.3, that's going to be a 30% uh, upcharge. So we're going to charge at least $16.50. Now, nobody's complaining about this, so I'm going to leave it at $21 for now. Okay, $3.75 divided by 0.3. So we should be charging at least $12.50, so that looks good. Grilled salmon filet, $7.10. Should be charging 23. Okay, so if no one's complaining, I'll leave it at 24. Jambalaya. We should be charging at least 24 for the jambalaya. I don't think anyone is going to pay $24 for rice. So this is not really a good um, profit for us, but I'm just going to bump it up to 19, see if they can handle that. Barbecue back ribs for. Oops. Didn't let me move forward. Barbecue back ribs. Here we go. So for 40 divided by 0.3, it's 14.67. We're gonna leave it at 16 for now. Swordfish Creole, 716 divided by 0.3. We should be charging 23 at least. So good, that looks good. Just want to make sure we're not undercharging. We don't want to lose money on any items. Okay, that looks good. Bourbon chicken. 11. Okay, good. So far we're making good profits on everything, so that's good. 40. Whoa, do I do that right? 12, 10, divided by 0.3. We should be charging $40 for the crab cakes. So we're definitely losing, well, we can only charge 25 because no one's going to pay $40 for this. So this is not something that's like a great star on our menu, but we'll keep it because they want to see it. 9601. Technically, we're not losing money unless we're charging less than the cost, right? But still, the 30% upcharge helps us pay the rent, pay our staff, and all the other overhead costs. Okay, everything looks good on here. Let's take a look at the beverages. Make sure we're charging enough for that. Okay, it costs us 35 cents per cup, and we are charging. Oops. Wait. Oh. 0.35 divided by 0.3. Okay, that looks good. Orange juice, it's going to cost us 77 cents. Okay, that looks good. And the milk. Perfect. So we are definitely making money on everything. So as long as they're not complaining, we're going to keep the prices like this. And we might even try to raise them. Let me look at the survey results. How much are they expecting to pay? That's the question. So most business people are expecting to pay $25 to $30 per plate. So we are definitely in that range. So maybe that's why they're not complaining, even though some things are quite expensive. 
Okay, good. So let's go back to the restaurant. We're saving. All right, so we did pricing. Next, let's move on to purchasing, which I know is an issue because if you looked at the comments, you could see people are complaining and servers are saying that we're out of everything. So, all right, purchasing. We have too much beef. We're wasting. Um, I'm gonna drop this down. Too much ground beef as well. Interesting. I'm gonna drop that to zero because I don't even know if we have that on the menu. And apparently all of it's going to waste. Oh, the vegetables look good, even though they were almost expired in the storage room. Okay. Uh, we'll drop this down. Oh, it's the fancy vegetables that were expiring. That's what it is. Okay. Now that we have some things on the menu. Let's see, wine. Wine's not even on the menu, but it lasts forever, so maybe we're just keeping it on hand. So I guess if they want that, we will offer that. Oh, we're wasting here. Let's drop it down to, let's try 100 for now. We are selling the bourbon chicken. Shellfish, let's drop that down. Fish. Shellfish would be crab, we're selling those crab cakes. We're wasting a lot of that. Let's drop it to 50 for now. Pulled chicken. Are we even selling pulled chicken? Hmm. I'm just going to drop it to 50 for now. We're running out of nuts because we're not buying any, so let's bump that up. And we can just play around with the numbers, but here on the sim and also in real life, it's crucial that we check in on our purchasing at least once a month if not every single week. I would do it every single week. But for the sim, we might forget when we're running it forward. Mm -hmm. Coffee. Lasts a while, so I'll order a bit of that. Juice. Mm, not so much. Okay. Hopefully those changes make a difference. So let's go ahead and run it forward a week. And if you notice, <laughs> we're negative 8,000 now, so that's not so great. All right, so after purchasing is going to be the layout. So while they're doing their thing, let's take a look and see what's going on here. Go to the podium. What's our issue with seating? Party of eight. I don't see any tables for parties of eight. So that would be an issue. And yet I see them being seated. So where are they going? Hmm. Well, let's wait for the restaurant to close and then we'll rearrange the dining room. I think we just need some more tables for eight to make sure that everybody gets seated. All right, so let's go ahead and rearrange this. Looks like we're getting different size groups. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and leave these as tables of six. And then we'll do some tables of two. Oh. Then actually, I'd like to do a table of six up here. That's perfect. Okay. Now let's do some tables of eight. And tables of eight here. Not a table. Um. And tables of eight here as well. And there. That looks good. Let's make this one, two. Why don't we turn these 
can uh, make doubles. So tables for four. We can fit those here. Um, um, the deal is, come on, rotate anything. There we go. I didn't know we could do that. That was nice, but I want it moved over a little bit if I can. Uh, maybe I cannot. <laughs> I know it can get closer, but okay. Let's rotate this one too. Good. Move this one with that. I don't know why it's so hard to move these tables. What is going on here? Yeah. New. Come on. Just, there we go. Okay, so let's remove these. And these. Okay, then we've got these here. What should we do? I feel like these tables are in the way. Let's make another table of eight. Alright. And a table of two. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's take a look at the kitchen and see how that's set up. So let's bring down the wall, zoom in. Okay, the dishwasher is where it should be. Um, I like to organize my kitchen with things that are the same because you can have one cook cooking all of the stove stuff at the same time, but not if they're running back and forth, something's going to burn. So let's put the machines that are the same together. We might even need to buy some more machines once we get more popular, which is fine. All right, we've got milk, soda. We don't need a soda dispenser. Let's see. Milk, coffee. We need a juice dispenser. So let's sell the soda. What? We need a soda fountain to make orange juice? Hmm. Okay, fine. Sounds good to me. Okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and run forward. Uh, let's do one week. Take a look and see if this issue is fixed. And at the same time, we can look at the messages and see what kind of complaints we're getting. Oh, now they're complaining about the prices. Oh, we need a stove. Did you see that? I think it's easier if we run it forward the week and then scroll back and look through the messages since it goes so quickly. So I'm going to focus more on is our table set up working more efficiently. People should not be waiting more than 30 minutes, but the quicker we get them in, the, the better it is. Families and couples are complaining about the dinner menu, but our targeted customer are business people, so I'm really not too concerned about that. Of course, we want all the customers to be happy, but you can't please everyone, so you do what you can, and then it is what it is. All right, our profit's already up 3000 so we're doing great. We're doing something right. Now let's scroll through the messages and see what's going on. We're out of coffee. Out. Out. Okay, so we need to buy a stove first off. Let's put a stove in. Okay. Hmm. The next thing we're going to look at is staffing and see what's going on with that. Um, but we are running out of food like crazy, and they don't like the price of jambalaya. So let's go ahead and fix that. Um, I did bump that up, didn't I? They did not like that, so let's change it to 1850. It's pretty similar, but 19 to 18, it messes with your mind, and sometimes customers are like, oh, 18 is so much better than 19, even though it's, what, 50 cents difference. So we'll see. If they're still complaining, we'll drop it more. Whew, 43 families. I thought we were only getting 25. What's going on here? <laughs> but notice the business people are not complaining, so that's good. Okay, we're running out. Can't make anything! 
You're right. You're running out of everything. That's not good. Okay, we already took care of the stove situation, so that's good. Okay, so let's take a look at our reports and see the week part sales. This will tell us when we are busy. So our busiest day is Monday. We're actually pretty busy all week, which is great. We're going to hit this profit goal real quick. All right, so when we're not busy is Sunday. And then Saturday is okay. So let's take a look at our staffing. Let's see, our staffing is 31%, so that's actually good. So, oh, I forgot what I just looked at. Um, week part sales. Okay, so Sunday's not as busy. So let's go ahead and cut the staff on Sundays. It's a slow day. Usually that actually is a slow day. Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays are usually slow. So we don't need to pay people to stand around and do nothing. Monday is a huge day. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump it to three, keep the dishwasher at one, because one dishwasher can do like 500 dishes per hour. That doesn't sound very nice, but it is true. And we'll drop that down. Wednesday, so-so. This one's pretty busy, this one's pretty busy, and this one is, let's see if we can get by with one. So now I'm just going to mirror the numbers. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, let's look at our Yelp ratings, which here they call Gazette ratings. Our rating is not really that great. Out of five, that's not great. Service is okay. Even though we have all of those staff working, the service is only 4.1. Food quality, okay, so they're okay with the menu, but nothing's available, so we need to fix that too. So let's go back into purchasing. This thing saves very often. All right, we need more butter and oil. Yes, we do. And this will change as we get more customers. Obviously, we're going to run through more food. Do we not have any ground beef on the menu? I guess not. Let's just drop that down to five. Ooh. Drop down to five. Hmm, why are we wasting so much cheese? Fancy vegetables we're running out of now, so that's good. Wasting garlic and onion. I mean, the math doesn't have to be exact, so I'm just kind of rounding and just doing whatever. Okay, we're wasting a little bit here. Let's drop that down. Great, we're selling. Not as much as that. Okay, looks good. So let's go ahead and run this for another week. Why? How did we get on Wednesday? That really leaks. Um, I'm gonna run it all the way to the 24th because I want to see what's going on and it updates on Sundays. Take a look at this. Take a look at these. We still have parties of eight waiting a while. Sometimes. Everybody's busy and productive, so that's good. Now, if they have to wait too long, they're probably going to go over to Me Cafe, which we don't want. But in the same token, people who are not happy with Me Cafe, they're going to come right over to us. So, Ooh, look at that line. Our 
our profit's already up to 8,000, so we are on the right path. We're doing well. We are halfway there. I think generally when you go out to eat, you only want to wait like 20 minutes max. And when it's longer than that, people will walk away. Let's see what the complaints are. Okay, so let's go back to staffing. We ordered a long time ago and still didn't get their food. That's only one person complaining, so I'm not going to pay too much mind for that. Uh, couples and families don't like our menu, not too concerned. Okay, we're still running out of food. Why can't they make the meals? Maybe we need another cook on this day. So Friday, let's add another cook. Our staffing's down to 15%, so we definitely can hire more staff. We need another server on Friday as well. I think I put this on the wrong day. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so we're still running out of food. We need another cook on Thursday. I don't see our staff complaining. So that's good. Waiting a long time for a table. So I would think we need another server on Wednesday. And they haven't got their food, so that would be a cook on Wednesday. Need another server on Tuesday. And definitely another cook. Eight cooks are complaining. We have eight cooks. Or they complain eight times. Pretty sure we don't have eight cooks on Tuesday. But okay. Let's see if another cook will help out. Now, just so you know, I know you can see the families and the couples complaining, and it seems like a lot of customers, but the thing is, once you start doing hybrid menus and you try to please the families and the couples and the business people, then you're going to start seeing the business people complain that they don't like the menu, and then everyone's complaining. So if you have the majority of the customers happy, that's what you want. We can't make any other meals. Okay, we need another cook on Monday. And another server on Monday. We're a long time to get food. I think we, know that we need another cook on Sunday. Bump that up to two. Okay, and then since we're running out of food, let's go ahead and take a look at purchasing again. Look down here, we're only wasting 0.4%. That's great, we don't have a lot of waste. But it's also not great because we're running out of food. Uh, staffing, 15%. We can bump it up higher and it will go up with all those hires I just put in. Food cost is good, it's under 30%. And our profit's already at 9,000. So guys, we're almost there. We're doing great, we just need to do a little bit of marketing, okay? So let's take a look at these again. Bump this up. Hmm. We're wasting a hundred and thirty. Maybe we don't need any cheese. I mean, what would be really smart to do would be go go to menu design and take a look and see what ingredients you need. Potatoes, fries, beef, vegetables, vegetables. So you can see, do I even need this ingredient? Um, but I'll let you do that. <laughs> Because that's going to take a lot of time. I would definitely recommend doing that for Restaurant Mobile. See exactly what it is you do need to order based off what's on your menu. And if you have something like I did with, what was it, the bread and the buns where, you know, like the cheese, where it's like all of it's going to waste. Well, maybe we don't even have cheese on the menu. So you can take a look at that. Okay. Two wasted. I'm not even worried about that, to be honest. Three and four wasted. That's not a big deal. I'm looking for the bigger numbers and the stock outs. 
Oh, we didn't do these things. We ran out of these, so that's something I want to address. <laughs> I want every customer happy. Wasting two, not a big deal. Um, let's bump this up in case more people want to order. Now this one, we're wasting... Oh, why are we... We should not order any soda, because that's not on the menu, so that's something we want to look at. And we're still wasting a lot of milk. I thought I dropped that down. Um, we don't want to run out of coffee. Let's do 140 and 60. I guess we'll drop milk down there. Okay, so that looks good. Now while this is running forward another week, let's take a look at our marketing. I think that's what should be next. Let me just double check my notes here. Yes, so marketing will be next, and then the last thing we'll look at is social media. So, let's take a look at our week part sales. Actually, let's take a look at our product menu mix. Where are we making the biggest profit? So, biggest number is going to be the margin, beef short ribs, and rack of lamb, and grilled salmon. So let's Let's do rack of lamb, beef short ribs, salmon. Okay, so easiest thing we can do is suggestive selling. So let's have the servers push the rack of lamb. That'll sell more rack of lamb. Table tablets. Um, what was the other thing? Let me look again. Too much going on in my mind. Ooh, wrong thing. Ports, product menu mix, beef short ribs. Okay, so we can promote the beef short ribs because we make some good money on that. Beef short ribs. There we go. It's 100 per week, $400 a month. That's not bad. Okay, now print advertising, since we are trying to target the business people, we're clearly spending the money. Look at this wasted money. Um, customers we're not even trying to target. Alright, so that should make a difference there. Well, let's also put out um, social media advertising. So, I know I'm jumping ahead because marketing and social media were separate in the lessons, but they're actually not separate when it comes to marketing. So, let's go back to here. I feel like, even though I'm already pushing the rack of lamb, I feel like we could push it some more through the ad, but um, I want to get all our stars sold. What's not selling? Rack of lamb is one of the lower numbers. Swordfish Creole, it's $17.53. Hmm. Let's go with that one. Swordfish Creole, let's bump those numbers up because it makes us a good profit margin. So let's call this Swordfish Creole Special. Uh, what should I say? For business matters, uh, that would be a catchy. Mm. We'd love to do business with your business at, what are we called, Owl's Pub, so classy, <laughs> yes, that's what we're called, okay, let's pick an image, which one will convey the best place for business people to eat, disgusting, um, can't I just move that, okay, they're eating with tablets and phones, I don't know, they, I don't know, they don't really look like they're busy, getting down to business. I like this one more, business people eating with tablets and phones, hmm, business people eating, that doesn't, that kind of looks like a date to me. I don't know. This is hard. This is the hard part for me. I think I'm going to pick this one because you can see that the people are engaged in business, but they're also enjoying their, well, he's enjoying the food. 
<laughs> and they got their workout. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Now let's not forget our audience. So within four to ten blocks, and it's going to be business people. So generally business people are interested in investing, golf. Let's call this my ad. And we'll spend $100 per week. So that's an additional $400. All right, let's book that ad. We are already at $11,000, so I'm pretty sure this is going to push us up to meet our goal. So let's run this forward a week and watch our impressions and clicks. We want it to be at least 30% like we did in the lesson. Ooh, this is great. That's almost 50% clicks out of the impressions. Awesome. That's really good. So I picked the right picture. <laughs> you just never know. Let's take a look here. So 1,400 clicks out of 35, 33 impressions. 39%. We're doing great. That was a good ad. Okay. Remember, when you make your ad, you want to put um, a menu item in the headline, and you want to put your business name in the text. Yeah, we hit all the right things. That looks great. Let's see how this is going. Three, four. We've got plenty of pages up for so we're doing good. You know, we could, we could fit another table for four. Move this here. Could totally fit more customers in. Why didn't we think of this before? Okay, good. That's gonna, it's gonna add one more group of customers. Less waiting. Okay, let's take a look at the comments. Um, but before that, let's check out our ratings. Look how much better we're doing. So much better. Okay, service is okay. So that probably means we need to hire more people. We're still running out of food, but they love our food. So great. This is awesome. So let's take a look at the complaints. Brace yourselves. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Okay, we're running out of food. I'm not too concerned about the couples and the families' complaints. Okay, this is an issue for sure. So we're running out of food. That seems to be a theme here. Uh-oh, they're waiting a while. Oh, only two people had to wait. What, 60 minutes is a long time. So I think we need... to wait for a table. I think we need another server on Friday. So let's go ahead and let's see. Staffing 17%, so we definitely can hire more people. So, server on Friday. Okay, and we also don't want staff quitting because they're overworked, which doesn't happen in the simulation, but it happens in real life. Treat your staff good and they'll stay with you. Okay, we're still running out of food. I'm waiting for a table. Oh, you need another stove? Good, that's great news. Dang, four stoves. All right, we'll buy it. Okay, what were they complaining about waiting for a team? So we need another server on Thursday. Easy to do. Okay. Why are we running out of all the food? I think we need another server and another cook on Wednesday. Out of coffee. Now that's unheard of. We gotta step up our game. Okay, 
so I think we're going to have to get a little more tedious with our ordering. Let's start with Monday and see what we're running out of. This is going to get a little complicated, but it's important. So let's look at our menu design. And also purchasing. Let's get it all out here, okay? Um, it doesn't really all fit. There we go. That'll do. Alright, so what are we running out of? We're running out of coffee. Okay, that one's easy. So let's look at our coffee. Oh, we only ran out of nine. How many people are complaining? Where'd it go? 26 people? And we only ran out of nine. Interesting. So let's bump this up. Just in case. And you know, coffee lasts a while. We should be good. We are wasting the milk. So let's bump this down. What else? Oh, we're out of rack of lamb. Okay, so that's an issue. And how many people can find that? 22? I'm going to bump this to 70. And, ooh, 100. Okay. What's up with the pork? Why is this in red? Hmm, are we running out of pork? <laughs> is pork even on the menu? Let's see. Well, the back ribs could be pork. Beef short ribs, barbecue ribs. Yeah, this is probably pork. So we'll just leave that. What else? Oof, spices and herbs. Yeah, those last a long time, so let's bump that up for sure. I think I'm going to do 215 on both. Wine. It's crazy, it's not even on the menu. Maybe it's just something that's there. Well, wine lasts a long time. There's no reason to run out of that. So, just bump it up. Wine lasts forever. We'll just get a bunch. Oh, maybe we're cooking with the wine. That, that makes sense. If you actually look at each item, it tells you the ingredients. Let's see if we're cooking with wine. Using those fancy vegetables with the lamb. How odd is that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> We're using wine on the beef short ribs. And they're at the bottom of the menu, but I guess people are buying them up. Okay, that explains that. Um, dairy, huh? Okay, let's bump it up a little bit. Before we were wasting, now we're running out. Fancy vegetables. Um, let's do 110. We're wasting, how are we wasting cheese when there's no cheese? Hmm. I'm certain that we could use some more butter. Okay. Looks good. All right. Oh, I forgot to see what else we're getting out of. But you know what? We went through all of it. Hopefully that'll fix it. Let's go ahead and run for it another week. And remember those ads we put in? It's going to take a few weeks for them really to be profitable. So we'll just wait for that. I'm going to do a couple weeks because it doesn't update till Sunday. And I really want to see if this is working. Let's put this wall back up. Bye-bye. Let's go ahead and watch. Well, let's take a look at our ratings. Our ratings are going up, so that's good. So the customers don't like waiting, of course. Um, we don't have enough cooks. No, wait, food quality. Oh, no, we do have enough cooks. Oh, look at that, it just went down. Really make, so this is our issue, is that we're running out of food. Hmm. Okay. Hey, look at the line. But we're getting them in so quickly. Yeah, we're doing good. Waste is very low, 0.2%. That's great. Staffing is 17%. We can definitely increase that. Though I have a feeling on Sunday, once it puts in all our new hires, that'll go up. Just remember that the more money we make, 
um, these other percentages will change because it's a percent of everything. So if we make more, then we'll have more money to funnel towards these things. we really don't want is people leaving because they don't. I see all the tables being utilized, so that's good. Ooh, we're already up to 12,000. Basically for the restaurant mobile, you're going to follow all these same steps, but you might have to go a little more in depth. There might be more to it. In fact, I think there's more than one restaurant, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so I'm not quite sure. But yeah, just follow these same steps, exactly what we're doing here, and you're going to do great. And then if you have a business in real life, you'll definitely want to follow these same steps. And it does get more in depth. Um, there's a formula to figure out based on how much you're making, how much can you afford to spend on rent, and there's a lot more to it than, than just this, since this is the high school version. There is a college version that has a lot more um, tips and formulas and help for you. But this is a great way to get started. So, let's take a look at our messages. Oh, we're still running out. Well, that's great, because we're probably getting more customers. Dang, I can't keep on top of this. Running out of food is definitely a bad thing. Okay, so we need more cooks on Thursday. So let's do more staffing. Cooks. Thursday. There's a new grill available. Okay, so we need another grill, and that's great. I am happy to buy them whatever equipment they need. Let's get another grill in there. Perfect. Easy fix. Running out of all the food. It's hard to balance waste versus running out, but our waste is so low. I guess we could afford to order some more. We need another server on Tuesday. So, to me, I'm thinking that if they aren't even getting sat, there's not enough servers. And if they're not getting their food, there's not enough cooks. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our purchasing based off what we're running out of. This is what we were starting to do before. And then I got all excited and forgot. Because I love the menu. Okay. purchasing. Okay, we are running out of rack of lamb. Rack of lamb includes lamb, fancy vegetables, spices, herbs, butter, and oil, garlic, and onion. So if we run out of one of these things, we can't make the entire dish. Makes sense? So if we just run out of onion and garlic, we might be wasting the lamb if even though we have it, because we can't make it without those ingredients. So, I'm going to move this over. Lamb. Where are you? Definitely running out of lamb, which is good. That means our ad is working. More people are ordering the lamb. Let's do 105. Let's make sure we're good on fancy vegetables. Definitely running out of those. Let me just bump it up quite a bit. Lamb, because I am anticipating even more sales with our ads going through. Okay. Spices and herbs, how are we doing with that? Still running out, so let's bump that up. That'll be good. Um, butter and oil. Where would that be? There we go. Garlic and onion. 
Oh, we're doing good on garlic and onion. Okay. What else are we running out of? Beef short ribs. Where is that? Down here? Okay, so <laughs> there's the wine. Okay, so we need beef. Okay. We don't appear to be running out of beef. Maybe we can't make it because we're running out of everything else. So we address fancy vegetables, butter, oil, dairy, spices, herbs, and wine. So let's look at wine. Spices and herbs. We're running out of coffee. <laughs> okay, so they want more coffee. We keep increasing the coffee, but that's good. All right. We're wasting milk, but let me just keep this here because I know there was dairy right there. Okay. Roasted chicken. Where are you? I don't even see roasted chicken on here. Oh, herb roasted chicken. Gotcha. Okay. Whole chicken. Whole chicken. We're actually wasting the chicken. So we're probably running out of the other things. Sauce. There's sauce right here. Okay, we've got plenty of sauce. Vegetables. Regular vegetables. Where are you? Okay, we're running out a little bit, I guess. Let's bump that up. Fancy vegetables, butter, oil, spices, and herbs. We've already addressed those. But we may need to go even higher. I can't remember if I bumped this up or not. I'm going to bump it up again. Okay. And the grilled salmon filet. Fish. How are we doing on fish? Fruit. Okay. Pasta and rice. That's good. Vegetables. We're going to vegetables up here. Spices and herbs. I think our issue was like running out of spices and herbs and stuff. Like I said, if you don't have one ingredient, sometimes you can't make the whole plate. People get used to the way it tastes. 15, 15, let me bump that up even more. Okay, let's see if this helps. And let's check out our ratings, see if they've gone up at all. Ooh, we went down. That's no good. Okay. Food availability. Yep, that's our issue. Hopefully this will help. So let's run it forward another week. We're so close. We only need to make like what? 5,080 more? 5,074? Something like that. Look at our little worker cooks. All busy and happy. I don't see any servers standing around. Everybody looks pretty productive. Wouldn't it be nice if it really were this easy to run a restaurant? <laughs> Real life is a little more complicated. See what's going on. Do our ratings change? 3.5? That's terrible. Okay, messages. <gasps> Why are they complaining about this now? Oh, it's only one person? Psh, I am not concerned. Okay, they didn't get their food, so we need another cook on Saturday. So let's go ahead and cook on Saturday. As we as we like improve our ratings and stuff and put out our ads, we're going to get more popular, we're going to have more people, and that means in turn we'll also need to continue hiring and continue ordering more. So it's a continuous, ongoing thing that we need to take a look at. We're still running out. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, they ordered a long time and they haven't gotten their food, so I think we need another cook. Oh, they're complaining about the kitchen? Cook and the server. Why are they running into each other? They shouldn't be. I can't believe they're complaining about the kitchen. Oh, only one person complained. <sighs> There's absolutely nothing wrong with this kitchen. It's perfect. Okay. Keep in mind how many complaints. Oh, I think I forgot to hire someone. Did I? We need another cook on fry. Oh, no, that's... We just don't have the food. Okay. Okay, yeah, so we do need another cook on Friday. Let's put that cook in. Okay. We need another server on Thursday. Because they said they're waiting for a table, and that's five people waiting over an hour. I hate that we're running out of can't make the food that's crazy okay so we need another server on Wednesday we are very successful though we're doing well we need another cook on Tuesday Okay, so let's address the ordering issue again. And maybe I'm just not being liberal enough with my spending. I don't know. Let's put this all the way over here. Let's get that, um, what was it, menu? Yeah, okay, and then the comments. So, okay, we're out of rack of lamb. Rack of lamb requires lamb. How are we doing on lamb? Oh, good. So people are starting to order this. Um, fancy vegetables. Spices and herbs. I'm just going to bump it up. Butter and oil. Let's see, 160. Like 2, let's do 230. 255. Garlic and onion. Good on that. So I'm not sure just bump it up <laughs> to match what the others are selling. I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, we're also running out of <laughs> coffee, even though I ordered a ton. Let's keep bumping that baby up. I'm not going to need more than that. I'm going to do 250. These business people, they got to stay awake. They need their coffee for dessert. Okay, beef short ribs. And I need there we go. Beef. Okay. Do you need three of that? Um, wine. There we go. Looks good. Fancy vegetables. Hmm. How did that happen? Let's just do one hundred and two hundred. Let's do 200. I'm not wasting any. Butter and oil. Okay. Let's do 
will let's bump this up. I know we already bumped it up for the other one, but we need it for this as well. Let's do 200 and 250. And then dairy. Okay, we're finally using some dairy. Uh, I'm just going to bump it up. 60, 60. Spices and herbs. Okay, let's bump that up as well. Spices last quite a while. Herbs, not so much, but if we're using them, hey. Herb roasted chicken. We need the whole chicken. Okay, we seem to be doing okay with that, but I'm going to order some more in case we get an increase in sales. Uh, sauce. Okay. Vegetables. So what's the issue with this one? Why can't we make it? Okay, we're running out of vegetables, so let's just bump it up. What else? Nuts. Um, fancy vegetables. Let's bump that up then. Butter and oil. I feel like I already did this. Spices and herbs. Okay, we'll bump those up to 250 for each. Alright, and then we're running out of the grilled sirloin steak. There. Well, that should be our number one seller. Okay, so we need potatoes and fries. We're going to look good there. We need that beef. That looks good. Um, vegetables. I feel like all the dishes are using vegetables, so that may be the issue. That definitely changed. Let's bump it up to 200 and 200. That should help us. Um, butter and oil. Um, that was weird. I know I just put this at 200 and now it's 130. It's very weird. Okay, butter and oil. Put these at 200 as well. That might be an issue if these things are changing after I've increased them. That would definitely be an issue. Okay. Let's go ahead and run forward another week. And see what happens. Profits almost to twelve thousand. Waste is really good. Food cost is good. Staffing's good. Everything looks good, except running out of food. That doesn't look so good. Let's take a look at our storage. Oh, I can see. What's this? Juice. Okay. Salad greens, okay, so that must be like our vegetables. What's this? Spices and herbs, okay. Oh, we restocked. You know, I think if we needed to order more say that this was completely full but we we're still running out that's when i think we would want to buy another shelf and fill that up too i bet buying more shelves increases our buying power in the sim i mean obviously in real life it does but okay we are up to 15 so we are doing something right yes we are almost there guys Okay, they've been waiting. That's only one person though. So, oh, we're still running out of food. 
which is great. It shows how much we're growing, but then it's also not great. I think we need another server on Friday. Since there's three different customers complaining about the wait. We're still running out of food. Let's take a look at our rating though. Oh man, I just can't get that rating up. Hmm. Why don't we run this forward a couple weeks and since you know we're so close maybe it's just going to hit it all by itself. So I'm going to run it to the 26 and just see if it works itself out. No, nope, we're definitely dropping down. Let's run it forward another week. Food waste is down to zero, but we're running out of food, so that's not the best. Oh, yes! It went up, but five would be better. So we still need to improve this and improve this so we can hire some more people. But where? Okay, I think I saw we need another server. I had one in my list. And then another server for Tuesday and another cook for Wednesday. Getting busier. Oops. Yes, we met our goal. Good job, guys. We did it. All right, so good luck on your restaurant mogul. You know you can do it. <laughs>